guys, QAP554731, and I just got a package from Hong Kong uh, from E2046. Um, they sell resin <coughs> resin kits. They uh, they 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 uh, copy the resin kits, or the original kits, and then they sell those. They have uh, workshops in I guess China or Hong Kong, and they're just the uh, um, they just do the selling. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. I have a um, fascination with uh, the like the cannon fodder mo mobile suits, uh, but mostly uh, GM GMs. See here, I'm uh, doing a GM uh, three conversion for a GM. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the space type, or uh, as it's known, it's in uh, 0083 <coughs> Stardust memory and uh, and eighth M, yeah, eighth M is team in in the beginning. Uh, if you remember, Sanders is piloting uh, piloting uh, a GM Kai. Uh, it's a uh, it's a badly damaged when uh, uh, Shiro saves him. Well, anyways, here. I got two <clears throat> GM uh, GM cannons, which I plan to to convert from GM GM Kai frames. And let's get this open. Uh, I plan to do one in uh, Titans colors. If you remember in uh, in Zeta Gundam. Uh, when uh, when they're in uh, Jabra, there's a um, funky color to GMs, and I want to do that paint scheme, and I want to do the regular EFF Earth Federation Forces paint scheme. And uh, here's my uh, GM cannon too. Kind of want to. Uh, use an emo frame for the GM cannon too because it's really, really flimsy. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah. Can't even stand up on its own. But it sucks though because then I'll be out an, uh, Nemo. I'd have to use an emo kit for that. Well, okay. Okay, so now that I got it open, here's the GM Cannon, a 1-100 from Goo Club, uh, a resin recast, here's the other one, um, here's the instructions, tape out of the way, okay, so here's the instructions. As you can see, there's the Beat Club insignia and Mobile Suit Gundam insignia. <clears throat> it's for GM use. The um, the original, uh, the crappy 1995 Master Grade. And what I want to do is, um, I saw there was a special edition uh, GMG. They're they're a resin cast company. They they do um, they do their own uh, their own original uh, resin modifications for uh, master grade kits. Not only master grade kits, but they also do some other kits. But <clears throat> I heard that recently they they stopped uh, producing kits. I don't know why sucks, but uh, life goes on. Here's here it is. Here's some parts. We'll see the, the casting. The heck is this? Okay, so I guess we're doing these little stamp thingies. Well, not really stamp thingies, but uh, I guess it's for quality, quality check. There's no uh, 
check by number 23 or something or whatever those quality check things say well anyways here's the casting not too bad Kind of expecting more for a forty dollar kit. I hope I don't have to do much cleanup on this. Well, seeing as I'm gonna do conversion, I'm going to have to. So yeah, the kit that inspired me was a GMG. <clears throat> it was a, a GMG conversion kit for, what kit was it? Oh yeah, it was for the GM Kai. And uh, it was special edition, I guess when they, they first came out. The GMG guys with their first kit, and that was a uh, that was limited release. So here it is. Legs. I'm gonna have to do some dremeling to get the inner frame in there. I think I'm thinking I might have to extend the the barrel. The um, barrel on the GMG kit looks. Uh, GMG stands for Gundam Modeling Generation, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it looks like they use a gun cannon, a uh, cannon, one of the cannons at the end to make it longer. Mm, I, might ha I might have to look into that. I have some extra GM Kai parts as I, uh, from, from this kit and also from... Uh, my power GM, which I haven't yet finished. I hope to finish it. <laughs> Sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have a stand yet. But I did upgrade, so that's... That's cool. That's plus... Blow dryer case. It's warped to hell. So yeah, hopefully in the coming weeks, I'll um, go ahead and uh, get one of those or two of those GM Kai's from HLJ. They're having a sale this week on some kits. I saw the Space Type GM for seventeen fifty fifty yen. And that's around 21 bucks. Hopefully they'll do another um, another shipping sale because I'm really taking a hit on the conversion rate. The yen is, I think now, well, it wasn't as bad before, but, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the yen was 79 yen to a dollar before, but now it's it's gone up to 83. Uh, there was speculation before that the... Um, Yen was going to go lower because of the earthquake and tsunami um, and the nuclear meltdown because the Japanese were going to, um, they, they, there was speculation that the Japanese was gonna, were going to bring uh, home more money to fund the relief causes. Uh, well, here you have it. Not stellar um, recast quality, but it's, it's pretty... Okay, I'd give it probably, well, I was going to say a 4 out of 5, but um, if I did it 4 out of 5, there would be less wiggle room for you to tell if it was a crappy kit or not. So, I'm going to give the casting quality for this probably um, an 8 out of 10 because of the, the, warped, the warped body part, but I was able to... Um, 
I was able to fix that with the bo boiling water. So, yeah, um, stay tuned next time for, um, hopefully, for my finished powered GM. And, uh, and hopefully these two kits finished as well once I get the GM Kai kits. So, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next video.